Hi, I'm Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach, and welcome to another episode of our Lean Body Over 40 series. This series is for those of us who are middle-aged and older who want to get leaner, healthier, and more fit. As we get older, we tend to develop a few more aches and pains than uh, we did, say, 20 years ago. When I was in my 20s, I won the IFBB Mr. Universe and competed at the top level in the world at the Mr. Olympia for seven consecutive years. I felt like I was bulletproof, and even though I took care of my body these days, it takes me a little bit longer to warm up and keep my joints healthy. But the good news is that with a little care, your joints should not bother you. There's truth to the old axiom, use it or lose it. So it's important to exercise every day, and the secret to keeping the joints healthy is to eat right, maintain a sensible body weight, and warm up properly before working out. Taking the right joint supplements will help us also, as we will soon see. Anyhow, we can all agree that achy joints can really put a damper on our workouts and might even cause us to avoid the gym when we really don't want to. So let's take a look at some of the things that we can do to keep our joints healthy, and we will start with nutrition. You should eat a nutritious diet that can help you get leaner and control your body weight. And the reason that that is important to control your body weight and your body fat is because if you are lighter, it's going to be less taxing on your joints, which means that they will hurt less from normal everyday use. If you don't currently have a good nutrition program, our Lean Body team can help. Just go to the App Store on your iPhone and download the free Lean Body app and follow the directions. It is that easy. If you're on Android, you can also get it on Google Play. Supplements that will help include good old fashioned vitamin C. Vitamin C is a key component of connective tissue, healing and repair, which means repair of tendons, ligaments, arterial walls. So yeah, it's important for your coronary arteries too. Vitamin C acts as a natural anti-inflammatory as well, so it will help your joints. Number two, glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate. Glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate are components of normal cartilage. In your body, they're building blocks for cartilage and appear to stimulate the body to make more cartilage. Number three, MSM. MSM is a potent anti-inflammatory commonly used to help with joint pain and tendonitis. And number three, if you wanna get all of these supplements in one easy to use product, try ElastiJoint. Each scoop of ElastiJoint contains an efficacious amount of the five key joint support ingredients, the glucosamine sulfate, the chondroitin sulfate, the hydrolyzed gelatin, MSM, and vitamin C. And you can find ElastiJoint online on labrata.com and on Amazon. Now, let's turn our attention to things that we can do in the gym to keep our joints safe and free of pain when we work out. We can't overlook the importance of a proper warm up. This is number one. This can easily be accomplished by doing five to 10 minutes of light cardio work to bring up your body's core temperature, followed by some light stretching and some light sets of the exercise that you'll be performing during your workout. If you've been working out for a long time, just like I have, you may be tempted to use heavy weights just like you did when you were younger. And uh, you can train as hard as ever, but keep in mind that the techniques that we use to increase workout intensity as we get older should protect our joints as well. It's not all about piling on tons of weight. Now here's three tips that uh, can help you to increase your training intensity while protecting your joints. Number one, avoid the end ranges of motion on exercises. So keep from locking out and keep the weight moving. This reduces the risk of injury and uh, also it improves exercise motion and keeps more tension on the muscle creating an incredible burn and better results. Number two, along with avoiding the end ranges on the exercises, we can slow the exercise movement you know, just down a bit to keep the tension on the muscle. And this creates what we call time under tension, which is a great way to stimulate muscle growth and will give you a fantastic pump. And then number three, we can also shorten our rest periods between sets. Uh, so you're doing the same number of sets and reps, you're just resting less, which increases the intensity, which is the amount of work that you do in a period of time without overloading your joints. So there you have it. Some ideas that you can use today to keep your joints healthier and free of pain. And remember that your goal should be uh, to be the very best that you can be at any age. Remember to warm up thoroughly before working out. 
stretch and do lighter sets of your target exercises. And hey guys, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video out. I'm Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach. Stay lean and stay healthy.